नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल सो मोस्ट ऑफ द एआईए पीजी पीटी कैंडिडेट्स वर वेटिंग फॉर वन नोटिफिकेशन फ्रॉम आरएवी दैट इज राष्ट्रीय आयुर्वेद विद्यापीठ रिगार्डिंग सीआरएवी कोर्स फॉर द बैच 2022-23 सो फाइनली द नोटिफिकेशन हैज कम विद ऑल द डिटेल्स रिक्वायर्ड इंक्लूडिंग द एग्जामिनेशन डेट फर्स्ट थिंग टू नोट इज द लास्ट डेट टू reach the office of rav all the applications should be 25th of january and the date of examination is also declared second 5th of february 2023 so very less gap between the announcement and the exam date what you need to do initially is you have to click this form the google link you have to fill the information as required this is very much compulsory without this your application even cannot be considered as valid as per the notification so without wasting any time initially fill this form once you click this form the link is available in the description you can see there once you click the link you will get the information like this the google form you have to fill the email id twice then you will be given you have to click the examination center which you want to prefer one center one is your preference followed by center 2 which would be your secondary preference next will be your aadhar card number followed by pan card number then the candidate's full name in block letters then mother's name in block letters father's name in block letters so everything is very simple only thing you need to take note is it should be in capital letters then the uh, you have to select the respective information like gender marital status category when you are clicking the category be careful because the reservation policy is as per the central government so the fees and even the seats will be depending on this category so don't waste or don't make any mistake here date of birth is also very critical age as on 25th of january you have to write as mentioned there do you require regarding age relaxation what is this age relaxation we'll come to that later so this is in relation to this in relation to categories so complete address the present address you have to mention here type one is the present address where you want the communications to be made other one is the permanent address and again email again mobile number so my email id has been asked thrice so this is simple human error but you have to fill as mentioned academic qualifications then date of completion of internship one of the important thing is your internship should be completed by january 25th of 2023 registration number and year so if you don't have the permanent registration at least you can write the temporary registration then the application fee as per the category you can see and then ultimately the last one that is whether hard copy is sent through by hand or speed co post courier or registered post then submit this is the first step everyone needs to do this next certain information crav he is focusing on the clinical ayurveda drug manufacturing and other information related to marma etc depending on the guru so one year course everyone is aware now once you are given admission to crav you will be giving a report monthly quarterly and ultimately at the end of the year dissertation so current stipend we already discussed this earlier sixth pay commission is going on so the basic is 15820 at present the dns allowance of seventh pay commission is 212% of basic so the basic is 15820 da will be 33538 so total comes to about 49358 but this was until december 2022 now january 2023 there will be a revision of da as per six pay commission so there will be increase in this da so with the increase it will go above 50000 that is for sure so when you get the news from central government regarding the dns allowance of six pay commission from january 2023 you can what you can do is calculate how much of that comes from basic of 15820 then you will get then add the basic then you will get the total now this is how you calculate in general so allocation of seat will be based on the merit in the entrance exam so entrance exam will be of 100 questions mcq in nature you will get 1 hour 40 minutes means 100 minutes so no negatives here so there are only six examination centers so this is not recognized by ncsn that you need to keep in mind so this is the age relaxation what i was talking about if a 
In general, the BMS age limit is 30 years and MDMS age limit is 32 years. If OBC candidate is there, 3 years relaxation is given. SCST is there, 5 years relaxation is given. If PH is there, additional 5 years of age relaxation is given. This is very important now. For this year, the ones who are applying after BMS, internship should have been completed by 25th. So this is very important. Now, reservation as per central pharmacy, I mean central government policy. Now, the examination fee is for general PH, EWS, OBC candidates, it is 2000 for SCS, it is 12000 No refund, uh, refund of amount will be paid once the student cancels. There is no possibility of cancelling the application. So, after the end of the uh, CRAV course, the student will be assisted on these parameters. Now, regarding this notice, certain things to note down. Once you fill the application, you have to send the photocopies of all the documents as mentioned in the checklist. We will go through that again later. So you have to furnish the proof of your both present as well as permanent address. Then in service candidates have to present no objection certificate from their head. All ticket has to be sent by the candidate by filling the relevant information except the uh, certain things he has to fill himself or herself and send what is that we'll see that later so the candidates have opportunity to send the post through multiple ways like indian post courier etc to the mentioned address here in new delhi so keep in mind it has to reach before 25th of january for safety at least by 20th if you send i think you will be in on safer side so google form is a must as i already mentioned so obc candidates and ews candidates please note that the certificate should be in central form. The state government format is not valid. So then, in the admit card, the student has to fill all the information except application number, roll number and examination center. So this is the application form. We will go through that. Preference of examination center you have to tick. Like you have to give the preference number. You can see there. 1, 2, 3. So if your preference is Bangalore, you give 1 below before Bangalore. If your Preference is Trishur, you give 1 there. If their second preference is Pune, before Pune, write 2. So, in that way, you have to mark the uh, preference. Other card number, write it as it is. Pan card number, write it as it is. Candidates full name in block letters as in the, as in any of the uh, other card or pan card. Then mother's name again in capital letter. Father's name again in capital letter. Gender tick, relevant answer. Marital status tick, relevant answer. Category, don't make mistake here. Date of birth and the age. Calculate properly and do. Write it in the column mentioned there. Then age relaxation as I already mentioned. If yes, what is the age relaxation criteria you are uh, using? Whether it is OBC or SCST or PH. Then the address. You can see there address. You have to write it manually. Then here Mars card you have to attach. So here the secondary exam refers to 10th exam. Intermediate exam refers to plus 2 exam. BMS you know and MDMS already you know. Date of completion of the internship and then medical registration number. Mode of payment and transaction number. So mode of payment is online. Of course they have given the link. Transaction number you need to note down and write it here. Date and the amount. So there is a declaration that you have gone through all the prospectus and you know everything. So everything is given uh, correctly with best of your knowledge. So such information is there. So this is the checklist you have to be very careful. 10th mark card very compulsory. 12th mars card again compulsory all the bms mars cards and degree certificates bms or md you have to attach so here they have not specifically mentioned whether it is mars card or not i would suggest you to keep all the mars card as well as degree certificate if degree is not available available provisional is also fine internship completion certificate medical registration certificate if the original not uh, available you attach the provisional then address proof you have multiple options there no NOC in case of government service only. If not, you can write there, not applicable. Cash certificate, if yes, okay, otherwise not applicable. PH, if yes, otherwise not applicable. Then copy of Aadhaar card, very important. Copy of PAN card, very important. Payment receipt, what you have paid through online mode. You have to take the photocopy of that and attach. And the admit card, that also has to be attached. Have you filled the Google form? It is compulsorily yes. So this is the admit card, this is also available. The link is available in the description. You can directly go there and take the printout. So you have to fill all the information there except the application number, roll number on the top 
and examination center on the, on the lower side other things like candidates name gender date of birth category aadhar number address the photograph everything should be filled by you so this is the lower part of the hall ticket so for any other queries you have this phone number specifically for rv students so you can call them and other information links all everything is available in the description definitely you can go through that and if there is any query you want to ask me you can put it in the comment box definitely we'll get the answer very soon since the examination is very near we'll uh, keep this video promoted in the coming days so that most of the students get to know regarding this course so until next time thank you